A common term that you're going to hear when you use a total station is something called a CSV file or a TXT file, which essentially means a comma separated value file or a text file. And the reason these are common file names is because they represent the file types that can be used to store your point coordinate information that you're going to be using on your total station. And so let me show you an example. If I have a basic file here, and I'll go ahead and create some points on it. One, two, three, four. Well, those points are obviously located on this CAD, but they're at a specific location. And so if I go ahead and do a properties check of let's say LP2, on this plan, this is located at the northern value of 11 feet and the eastern value of 11 feet. So north 11, east 11, which means that my zero, zero, let me go ahead and put a point in here at zero, zero, is located down here on the bottom left hand corner. It's important to remember that every single CAD file that you use on your tablet is based off some sort of grid system. The line work all begins at some sort of coordinate and ends at some sort of coordinate. Everything is located on an X and a Y and a Z at times coordinate system. So these point information, if I go to my table view, you see they have these values, even height value, they have some attributes to them. This information can be saved in a CSV file format and in the program I'm using, uh, everybody might have their different programs, but the concept's the same. I'll go ahead and export these points. And on my window, you can see that I'm exporting them in units of feet. So you see how it's coming up as 11.00 feet. If I had them as inches, it would multiply that number by 12, 132 inches, right? CSV files are gonna be exported in some sort of decimal units, and you should very easily know what those units are by just asking whoever exported them what units they're exported in. So for me, I'm exporting them in units of feet. NEH is the format that they're gonna be ordered in. And you'll see down here, the export preview, this is the raw data mode. That's what it's gonna look like in my file type. So I'll go ahead and save this. And now you see this saved it as a CSV file. Well, I can open that in Excel, or I can open it with Notepad or WordPad, which will I can then save it as a TXT if I wanted to. But let me go ahead and open it in Excel. And here you can see that in my Excel program, it separates everything into nice columns for me, it shows me all my values separated really well. But again, it actually looks like this in raw mode. Let me open it with Notepad, and here you have it. It has your point name, comma, coordinate value for the north, comma, coordinate value for your east, comma, and it has it for all the points you, you have, as along with any attributes you include. So when you are using a total station, you actually are importing a CSV file, a comma separated file, into your tab into your tablet and it's just holding point information and when you import it it's going to look something like this on the tablet here you can see i have my drawing and i'm going to go ahead and go to the point import section right here so i found my csv file and now i need to just simply tell the units that i'm bringing it bringing it in as and it was feet with neh as the coordinates with the punctuation separating with a comma i'm going to say check select all my points and now you can see that they put them in the exact same spots that they were on when I did them in here. And to put an icing on the cake, something that's even cooler is you can actually do all your work on your tablet and let's say you add points while you're working on your tablet, whether they're measured points, control points, whatever it is, you can go back and you can take the layout points again, uh, including anything that you've added, click on it and export them again to another CSV so you can save that data and bring it back to your computer and again, you're gonna just see the information here of how you wanna export it. And for me, this is usually how I do it. I keep it in international feet. I keep the coordinates ordered in the northern eastern height coordinate order. Uh, if you wanna change that, you can. But just remember, if you do change it, and then your delimiter, I usually keep that as a comma. I press check, and boom, all the points that I added to my project, I can now save in a nice CSV file and take it back to my computer. So I hope that helps you. Please leave a question in the comments if you have any questions but you'll be surprised at how easy this is going forward for you.